This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hi everyone, Teacher Lim here again. Once more, thanks a lot for joining me at my channel and video again. Now, today I will be having a lesson on signs. This is more of an introduction lesson to magnets and magnetic and non-magnetic materials. So this is under the, the bigger or broad, broader topic of uh, interactions. So uh, this is a very uh, basic first level kind of uh, lesson. So uh, if you want to start learning about magnets and magnetic materials, this is uh, the video to watch. So uh, of course, uh, in, especially in Singapore, uh, science is first introduced at the primary three level where students are nine years old. So this video is definitely uh, suitable for students at the primary three level and onwards. So uh, these three are the main things I will be covering for today in this introductory uh, lesson video for magnetic and magnetic and non-magnetic materials. So I'll talk about examples of magnetic and non-magnetic materials and objects. I'll also talk about examples of magnetic and non-magnetic metals. And I will also talk about how you can test whether a material is uh, magnetic or non-magnetic. Now, uh, maybe back to the first two points. So there's a slight difference here, magnetic and non-magnetic materials and objects, magnetic and non-magnetic metals. So I will talk more about these differences uh, later on in my video. Now, as usual, credits go to Google, Google Images, uh, some information from Wikipedia as well, and uh, the publisher Marshall Cavendish. So this is the, the workbook. Uh, that is used uh, in, in my primary school at least. I'm not sure how many primary schools out there in Singapore are using this uh, workbook as well. So definitely some ideas came from the Marshall Cavendish. My pals are here, primary three directions workbook as well. So credits go to all these various sources. Now, uh, first up, I want to talk about magnetic materials or metals. Uh, you, you must understand, uh, children, uh, take note that if something is magnetic, it must be a metal. So uh, I think it's fine, we can either call them either magnetic materials or metals. So we have iron, steel, cobalt and nickel. Uh, there's actually a lot, quite a few more, quite a few more magnetic metals out there. But uh, in primary science, primary three science, we only need to know iron, steel, cobalt and nickel. In fact, in fact, uh, we don't even need to know uh, cobalt and nickel. So students, if you want to really focus, you can just focus on iron or steel. So over here, I have a picture of uh, iron or steel uh, objects here, uh, iron or steel bars or rods. Uh, but I want to bring your attention to this. This is actually how cobalt looks like. Okay, cobalt. Over here, cobalt. And this is actually how nickel looks like. All right, nickel is how nickel looks like. Now, uh, the next question will be, so if you bring a magnet to close to, uh, an, an, uh, uh, sorry, close to a magnetic material object uh, or a magnetic ma a metal for that case, for that instance, uh, so what will happen? Yes, they will be attracted to the magnet. So this is how you can test, right? This is how you can test if uh, an, an object or a material is magnetic. Now, I'll move on next to non-magnetic materials. So uh, we have aluminium, copper and zinc. Now why did I place these three here together? Because they are actually metals but they are non-magnetic. And there are also quite a few more, uh, quite a few more non-magnetic metals out there. But I'll just uh, mention three here, aluminium, copper and zinc. So uh, this is how aluminium uh, looks like. Alright, uh, this is uh, copper actually and this is uh, how zinc looks like. So over here we have the non-magnetic uh, materials. Or, or uh, they are also non-metals. So we have wood, paper, plastic, rubber, glass, and pencil lead. Or we can call it carbon pencil lead as well. So over here we have wood, we have fabrics, uh, paper, we have uh, carbon. Okay, carbon pencil lead. Now, many, uh, almost every year students will ask me, is carbon magnetic? Well, uh, to let everyone know here, actually carbon is not even a metal. So I did, I did some research online and uh, I was told that yeah, carbon is not metal, so it's definitely non-magnetic uh, in nature. 
Now over here, I have styrofoam as well. Uh, why do I have put styrofoam here? Because styrofoam is actually a form of plastic and it's definitely non magnetic. So what happens if we bring a magnet close to any of these materials or objects? Okay, nothing will happen. Okay, the magnet uh, will not attract these materials or the materials will not be attracted to a magnet. So, uh, this point is very important children. Now, not all metals are magnetic. So, you must remember there are some metals or quite a few metals out there that are not magnetic. So, over here, we have the magnetic metals or materials. We have the non-magnetic metals or the non-magnetic materials here. So, I put them side by side so you can see that. Over here, we have uh, a, group, a group of uh, metals that are magnetic, iron, steel, cobalt, nickel. And we also have a group of metal here that is non-magnetic. Aluminium, copper, and zinc. Alright, so do remember not all metals are magnetic. And uh, so how do we actually test or, or do experiments uh, or, or do a small simple process to find out if a, magnet, uh, a material is magnetic or non-magnetic in nature? So we bring a magnet close to it. So if for example, this is an unknown object. So it, it, it looks like uh, a piece of metal or it could even be a piece of plastic or wood painted silver or greyish in colour. So the only way we can test if it's magnetic or not is to place a, mag uh, a magnet close to that unknown object. So uh, we have no idea what this object is but once you place a magnet near to it and if it's attracted as uh, symbolized or, or denoted by the arrow, it's attracted, by, attracted to the magnet, then we can very sure or very certain uh, say with uh, certainty that this material is magnetic because it's attracted by a magnet. So what happens if uh, nothing happens, right? When you bring a magnet close to this unknown object, so we can very much uh, say for certain that it is a non-magnetic material. Now, so what happens if uh, you bring a magnet to this unknown object and uh, this magnet actually repels this uh, unknown object and if it repels, it most likely has to be able to uh, attract this as well. You just got to turn the sides because uh, you'll learn later on, magnet has two poles, right? Uh, unlike poles, uh, attract, like poles, repel, you'll learn more about this later on. Like, so as I mentioned, this is an introduction video. So there's a lot more to learn about magnets and magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. So what happens? What is this object then? Okay, definitely it has to be a magnet because only a magnet can repel another magnet. Alright, uh, can attract as well if they are at a uh, correct poles. So, uh, this is how you can test whether an unknown object is magnetic in, in nature or is a non-magnetic material or it is a magnet itself. Alright, so this is a very short simple lesson. Uh, Maybe let me summarize the main points first. So you must remember point number one, metals like aluminum, copper and zinc. They are metals, but they are what we call or what we know as uh, non-magnetic materials or non-magnetic metals. Alright, there's a picture of it here. Number two, other non-magnetic materials uh, that's around uh, wood, paper, plastic, rubber, glass or like I mentioned before, carbon pencil lead. Right, this, they will not be attracted by a magnet. They are non-magnetic materials. And remember, do remember, carbon pencil lead is uh, non-metal. Number three, metals like iron, steel, cobalt, and nickel are magnetic materials, or we call them magnetic metals, so they can be attracted um, to magnets. Number four, only magnetic materials can be attracted by a magnet. All right. So uh, to say the other way around, uh, non-magnetic materials, nothing will happen. They will not be attracted by a magnet. You know, uh, that's how you check. Uh, if a material or an object is magnetic or non-magnetic in nature, depends on how it interacts with the magnet. So, just to re uh, repeat again, magnetic materials will be attracted by a magnet. That's how the interaction uh, will happen. And non-magnetic materials will not be attracted by a magnet. Alright, so that's why we call this uh, broad topic uh, interactions as well, to see how different materials or different objects interact with each other. Okay, my last and final point, but definitely not the least, uh, only a magnet can repel or push away another magnet. This is very important. So let's say if you're doing a simple experiment or a test, if they repel each other, voila, 
it is a magnet, right? The unknown object has to be a magnet because of repulsion or the repelling interaction that's occurring or happening. Alright, this is a very simple lesson, an introductory lesson on magnetic, magnetic and non-magnetic materials. I hope everyone enjoyed this lesson. So I'm signing off here now. Goodbye everyone. Uh, take care and stay safe. And thank you so much for watching.